Hi Virgos, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your what is he or she thinking about our connection. I'm going to pull a couple cards or a card or two from the Angel Answers deck by Doreen Virtue as an overall message. Virgos, please. We got some romance and recovering from some sort of situation. So I'm going to start out with the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck and I'm going to ask those of you who are thinking about a male, what he's thinking, what are his thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives when it comes to your connection together in the month of August. All right, Virgo, so Whoever it is you're thinking of that is a male, he is not sure if he wants to accept love. He is trying to do something that he knows he needs to do whether he likes it or not. In his thoughts, he's trying to be strong. And in his foundation, he is trying to cut away from some sort of path to make difficult a difficult new path, but one that will help him to claim victory over this constant and intense thoughts that he's been having in the past. In the next couple few weeks, he's going to have to make up his mind about a situation that involves three people. And in the next four to six weeks, he's going to figure out whether or not he wants love and maybe... <coughs> Yeah, either a love offer is coming from you guys to this guy, from you people to this person <laughs> um, who is a male, or this male that you're thinking of is also being offered love from a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Um, yeah, Spirit's saying that the person that you're thinking of could very well be not healthy for you, or there's something you're doing that's not healthy that includes three people. This person realizes that maybe about themselves, in their hopes and fears, they're hoping for a soulmate connection. And in their foundation, they're trying to manifest something, but they're also using the magician energies to see if someone is being true or if they're presenting themselves as someone who they are not. In an additional three card summary to my right, we've got. The first card representing the first week and a half to two weeks from when you watch this video. And the first card is the Empress Energies. So this person, he is able at this time to give birth to something new or he is enchanted by some female. And he's going within to think about things from every perspective. He's trying to figure out with the lover's energy if this is true or if it's just a fantasy. And is probably going to make his point very clear about something. He could be dealing with an air sign or he could be an air sign. Libra, Aquarius or Gemini, Sun, Moon or Rising, male, male, okay? And in the next couple few weeks he's trying to set goals into action, trying to make some decisions about love. But he's willing to say what needs to be said, even if it is painful. In the next four to six weeks, he's thinking about someone who's maybe been coming and going, and he wants someone to stay. So he may walk away, or he may put his whole heart in. He's receiving the Life Renewed card, so he can plant something new. He has a new direction, but he's worried about what that new direction involves. Therefore, he may choose to put an end to something and just stick it out on his own. So I'm going to clarify by using the Rider Waite deck with the Tarot of the Hidden Realm deck for Virgos, whoever he is that Virgos are thinking of. So the person you're thinking of, he uh, doesn't know if he wants love because there's a lot of passion and intensity but not much of a strong foundation and figuring out what it is he has to say or do 
in a situation with a person who may be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, Sun, Moon, or Rising. He's thinking about how to be strong when it comes to a love offer or an offer of love. And in his foundation, he is trying to cut himself away or claim victory on a path so he doesn't have to feel stuck in a situation anymore. In the recent past, he was focused and determined in some sort of reality, woke him up. And now that's why he's getting clear. Um, in the next couple few weeks, he has the energies of the strength card to decide which person or project. I'm feeling person is the best for him. He's going to open up his heart or somebody's going to open his heart, their heart to him. And he is going to find a new direction. He's got time to think about this. Because spirit's telling him to set new goals because someone or something is not a healthy situation. In his hopes and fears, he's hoping that something or fearing that something's coming to an end because he's hoping that there was some sort of a soulmate connection. And in the outcome position, he's going to receive some messages very quickly and get the answers that he's been waiting for about somebody who hasn't been very honest. So in the first week and a half to two weeks, from hearing this video know that this person is laying down an old battle an old struggle or an old connection they're trying to manifest something new and beautiful in their life so they're going to be taking the time in the next couple few weeks look at that temperance twice to heal and to let go to heal be patient and to wait to wait and see if this person's going to stick around or not, if they're going to have a happily ever after or not. In a three card summary to my left with the same Rider weight deck, the first card we have representing the first week and a half to two weeks when you guys are watching this video are the Queen of Cups energies. <clears throat> Him, I'm sorry. He is listening to the Queen of Cups energy to make the right choices when it comes to love, to listen to his intuition about something that he's put way too much energy into and he's getting ready to walk away. He's getting excited a new about a new path and he's keeping his heart open to take the steps to release him from himself from something that's kept him up in his head, that has tied him to a substance or person that he knows is not good for him. Again, I saw an earth sign. We've got the star card energies, hoping, wishing, and praying on a star in the next couple few weeks that someone will either open up and in this time, how they're going to use this new sword, the final sword to cut away from something and to follow a new karmic and blessed path. He has the ability to manifest something new from all the hard work he's put in and he's going to follow what it is that fulfills him most by stepping out into a new path and receiving a lot of acknowledgement for a job well done. There's also love in that person's future. So in the next four to six weeks, yes, they will mourn a situation But then they're going to be blessed in about 10, 9, 10 weeks with a new beginning, a happily ever after. So these messages are for some of you, not all of you. If they make sense and resonate, great. And if they don't, feel free to contact me directly at my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. Your guys', is, your energy is, again, about romance and recovery. Let's see if I have any last messages Spirit wants to say about romance and recovery. Hopefully you guys aren't stringing someone along while you're recovering because romance obviously involves someone else's heart. So maybe I did see that some of you um, <clears throat> need to heal and let go of like everybody and kind of recenter yourselves so you can remember how to open up your heart. That's what I thought. <clears throat> some of you are too closed or you're dealing with someone who's closed off. So hope, wish, and pray on a star and know that justice is in your favor, helping you to cut away from people and things that don't serve you 
Some could be partying. Some could be people who have substance abuse. In the next couple few weeks, Spirit's saying that you need to get over heartache so your wheel of karma can start moving forward. Learn from the past and make new decisions. Know that you can manifest great things in your path at this time, giving birth to brand new exciting things in your life. In the next four to six weeks, take off the blindfold, see the situation for what it is. Open up your heart and your intuition and speak clearly. Tell somebody this is what I want. If you don't want it, great. Then let's put it to an end and I'm going to go start something new. As you're starting something new, somebody may feel jealous or they may not like that you're moving ahead. Maybe some of you are connecting out at a distance with someone who is a fire sign. Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, sun, moon, or rising. Okay, let's get into female. For those of you male Virgos or not, I'm just pulling messages regarding a female that you Virgos are thinking of and I'm asking Spirit to please provide us with clearly defined messages regarding the female's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, outlooks, and perspectives when it comes to love energies in the month of August 2016. All right, so the card representing this female's current life path here on Earth at this time is that she has come through a lot. She has grown she sees she's growing into the person she's always wanted to be. And while she's working very hard, she is up in her mind a little bit about some fantasy. In her thoughts, she's thinking about putting something to a complete close so she can start a brand new world. And in her foundation, she wants to offer someone love or someone wants to offer love to her. So let's clarify. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless those born under the sun sign, moon sign, or rising sign of Virgo with clearly defined messages regarding a female that they're thinking of and that female's thoughts, feelings, emotions, viewpoints, and outlooks, and perspectives when it comes to their connection to the Virgo in the next, well, in August 2017. So they're feeling down and out and sad and depressed, but they are working hard and they are becoming someone who is very strong and successful. They are being crossed with the Seven of Cups. So what is the fulfillment? This person may be fantasizing about equality and fairness and balance. They're hoping to put closure to a path when it comes to career and finances and to start something new. <clears throat> Maybe they're even thinking with three people here that they're gonna put closure to one connection and open a, their heart to another connection, but maybe they understand that at this point there are three people involved. In their foundation, they want to offer love or you wanna offer love to them. They see the love offer, they see the love there. They're just contemplating what could be a kindred relationship. In the recent past, they were thinking about their past. And now they're mourning it, or they were mourning it. They're letting it go and they're heading towards a new beginning. In the next couple few weeks, she is trying to maintain equal and fair balance in her life with those who she's connected to. And she may be dealing with a child who's having difficulties. In the next four to six weeks, Spirit's saying, be patient and have faith. Okay, Spirit's telling her to be patient and have faith. She had, may have been really sad and down and out, but she is working through that. She's really focusing, I think, on career and finances and money. Someone outside of her path makes her feel very fulfilled, very happy in her heart. And she is trying to listen to the energies of the high priestess to decide if she should move towards a new path or not. In her hopes and fears, she is fearing that she's just going to be left sad and down and that all she's going to receive is little piddly messages from Virgo. A little bit here, a little bit there, over and over, round and round. So in her outcome position, she's using the energies of the temperance card to make her own decision. She doesn't want to be bothered about that decision. She just needs some time to think about that decision. And what she's thinking about is that no matter which way she places these cups, no matter how excited and then sad she gets down after every measly connection, no matter how much energy she's put into some sort of connection, it just keeps coming up empty. So let's see what she's going to do. In a three card summary to my right, the first card is representing 
this person's uh, first week and a half to two weeks. She is creating many wonderful new things on her path. She's taking steps. Maybe she's even working or living or in a relationship with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. And she's looking thing, at things of every, from every perspective because she maybe is contemplating a new path in love. But yeah, she's having a hard time with decision making. In the next couple few weeks, she is being blessed with the Life Renewed card. So Spirit's giving her this blessed acorn to build a new family tree, new financial tree, new life path of some sort. And she may even just be leaving troubled waters behind. Yes, I do see the death card. All right. Um, oh, I wasn't supposed to look at that. So let's use that to... represent both the first two cards. So in the final card, in the outcome position, in the four to six weeks, she's working through old pain and anguish and frustration. She understands how far she has grown and she's protected this egg from the beginning and now she's becoming the bird within. She is going to fly away. After she hears, especially after she's been up in her head enough and then she'll hear about a tower and the tower is going to reveal that somebody has been full of crap pardon my French so if you guys want to get real with somebody get real with them if this is playful that's fine but we got to remember to come into relationships with others and to say I'm here to play are you here to play with me I don't want to change this into anything more than what it is and if you don't like it then fine because then that person has the ability to say great thanks for being honest it's been nice knowing you and maybe they'll say fine this this works for me so the card representing the first week and a half to two weeks for this female is she's going to get in her chariot. She's going to start making wishes, going after those wishes, taking steps to be like the Queen of Swords. Or maybe she heads forward in some sort of direction and she runs into an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or has to deal with this air sign. And that's the reality she needed to let go. Maybe where she's been at for a long time is what is supposed to provide her with this peace, joy, and happiness because I feel like she is in that position. And now she's reaching out and she's hearing some sort of truth or putting together a sort of truth. But she kind of doesn't care because she has the energies of the Empress to create new things and the energies of the Queen of Wands to take the steps to create what it is she wants in her path. And she's manifesting it. She's making it work. She's giving birth to it. It could be for some of you that she is a fire sign, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Uh, she, in the next couple few weeks, is going to be receiving the truth sword. She's going to be able to claim victory over the way things have been in the past and to start a new path. And the new path is going to be overflowing with peace, joy, abundance, and love for her and is being offered by the universe. She's going to be connecting out to others. Others are going to be connecting back to her. And then she's going to sit and listen with the energies of the Queen of Cups, with her heart wide open to what her intuition has to say about someone who comes and goes and who is very focused on having a very uh, financially profitable lifestyle. She's trying to have the energies of the Strength card to understand this three-party situation or someone who is partying a lot. But in the meantime, she's just trying to be patient and take the required steps or she's being patient and she's healing and she's going back and forth about another fire sign Sagittarius Aries or Leo Sun Moon or Rising the Hierophant is telling her that she has been down a difficult path and that she should congratulate herself and have hope knowing that the Major Arcana Justice also is here to Bless her with great things. Look at that. She's put in a lot of work and she's being blessed by the universe with a brand new path. Something that I believe she has manifested for herself. She is contemplating, hoping and praying that someday she will maybe own her own business or home. She's coming down the to the understanding that she doesn't need another person to be successful in her path. In the next four to six weeks, she has her heart wide open. She's taking the steps 
uh, and using her intuition when it comes to love. She's looking at a situation for what it clearly is. She's taken off the blindfold, and if it's heartache, it's heartache. I think she's going to be tired of sitting around waiting for it, and she's going to put it all down. She's going to hope, wish, and pray on a star card that she can release herself from someone who won't open up to her, and she is going to move forward and offer her heart to someone who is older than her. Some of you will be left dealing with the repercussions of some sort of situation with an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. And either way, it looks like you guys are going to look at things from every perspective and step into a new world path for yourselves. You guys have a lot of focus, it seems like, on career and finance, maybe even retirement. So think about recovery and think about romance, okay? These are the two things. I really feel like it's important for me to read the recovery card for you guys. So let me find that book because I don't normally read for this deck. All right, let's see what recovery has to say. Oops. This is a period of recovery and healing for you. The challenging emotions that you've been dealing with will fade away with time. Although it may be difficult to see now, there is joyful, a joyful future awaiting you. But for now, take all the time you need to regain your strength. This card can also mean that your recovery is nearly finished or already complete. Send words of gratitude to heaven and begin planning for the next exciting phase of your life. Wow, so you guys are recovering and where you're recovering from is actually opening you up to romance. So I'm going to put a closure to the reading with a word of prayer from the Mary Queen of Angels deck by Doreen Virtue, Virgo, August 2017. Love energies and connecting with others. Oh, wow. So your guys, as you get romance and love, your word of prayer is love. And love is the answer to all of my questions is all you need to think. Let's see what this book has to say. This card reminds you that feeling loved is your true desire and this very condition is continuously offered to you by God, Jesus, and Mother Mary and the angels. Surround your current situation and relationships with love, which will loosen the bonds of ego attachments. When you pray for love to heal your situation, God sends angels to your side. Mother Mary counsels you to use only loving words when you speak, think, or write. Avoid pessimism, pessimistic discussions with yourself or others, as it's an essential way for you to surround yourself with the highest energy available. By doing so, you will witness miraculous healings, experience new opportunities, and attract wonderful relationships. So avoid pessimistic discussions. In the month of August 2017, Virgos, take care and God bless.